This video is for educational and entertainment use only. What's going on, AG? It's Duff Below, All Gale Philosopher. So now I'm here in the first episode of All Gale Philosopher. Basically, the first thing I want to talk about, I want to jump directly into it. Let's talk about the streets. What is the streets? To me, the streets is basically concrete, asphalt, salt, sand, and a mixture of a bunch of stuff that we basically drive on. That's what the streets mean to me. But what the streets mean to everybody else is something totally different. So everybody have the streets as in we hitting the block, we doing this, we serving this, we out here, we chilling. A lot of people have that, and to be honest with you, that's really not what the streets is. So I'm gonna break down the philosophy of what the streets really is. So basically the streets is basically, you have people these days up to date, like car crackers, finessas, basically people scamming, scheming, and doing whatever they gotta do to basically fly to all these places. But originally the streets was basically those people in the struggle that was trying to survive, trying to protect their family and do what they had to do to protect their family and feed their family. So, in the streets, we have people that tell us that these are the rules to the streets that you have to abide by. But how can we abide by rules that the people that's telling us the rules, they don't abide by? So, why should the streets have rules when there is no rules to how people feed their family? Common sense, you would think. But a lot of young, a lot, I'm basically talking to the youth. A lot of the youth basically are strung up in the streets by listening to people that's older than them and oh man, he driving this nice car and he got the pretty girls and the clothes and the money and his life is so flashy and man, I wanna be just like him. When in reality, you really don't wanna be just like him because you never know what he actually did to become what he became or what he is. Because a lot of those people that's in the streets that we assume is the man really is working for the man and they are in trouble. So they're in trouble, then they put into the neighborhoods where they bring drugs into the neighborhoods to basically destroy the neighborhood, but yet how can you look up to somebody that's destroying the neighborhood? That's what I don't understand about the streets. So it's like you have an opportunity that you're giving other kids where you put drugs in their hand, guns in their hand, and you tell them this is how they're gonna protect the feed they family when you're not telling them that they can easily go to school and get a job, a career, start a business, and they can feed and protect their family that way. They won't end up in jail if they go to school route and actually have an education. But see, the streets is not known to tell you that. People in the streets, that's the big dogs, they're not telling you to go to school. They're telling, some, they're telling their family to go to school, and they're telling some of the shorties to go to school, but is they really telling you to go to school to try to leave the streets, or they're just telling you to go to school because it's something to say? So I look at it like this. When you running around in the streets, you basically causing yourself more harm than anything. Because once you do one thing to a person, you now in beef. We all know beef lasts forever. It doesn't end because once you do something to this person, everybody that loves them, including them, if they li if they live, they they gonna be looking for you. Nobody forgets what you did to them. Everybody remembers what you did to them, and eventually it all comes back full circle, and then it catches up with us. Nobody seems to understand that. But if you plan in the streets every day, you gain way more enemies than you gain friends. So even five, 10, 15 years down the line. You may think, oh, it's all over and said for, it's all done. And no, you think that. The person that you harmed way back then, you, you have this thought that's going through their head over and over and over that's replaying in it every day of their life that they can't wait to get back at you. And when they get the grand opportunity to get back at you, they do it. What do they do? They may harm you. They may kill you. They, they may do anything to you, so it's like you got to understand that like the streets is not what you're making it up. A lot of parents tell their kids, you love the streets. The streets don't love you. And be, me growing up in the streets, you assume that the streets will love you, but I mean, you think that because when you think of the streets, you think, oh, my, me and my friends, we, we the streets, we the ones that are... Uh, in reality, a lot of the people that be closest to you be the ones that just be praying on your downfall. 
So it's like, I look at it like, the philosophy of the streets is really not what's being taught to the kids. The original reason for, like I said, a lot of those gangs that popped up, the original reason was to help the community, not hurt the community. What is doing? What the gangs is doing now is kind of in a way basically hurting the community. Not all gangs and not all gang members hurt the community. I can't say that every last one of them do that. I wouldn't say that a lot of y'all. But what I can say is, if you guys don't try to go for an education rather than trying to get a gun and get a pack and stand on the block, you shorten your life. Not only do you shorten your life, you shorten your attention span, you shorten your intelligence, your intellect. Like You shorten so much by going the street route because those people in the street route, they don't have nothing but the streets. So we all know misery loves company. A lot of those people in the streets are miserable. So what are they doing? They're trapping you into the trap. You have to understand that. So to understand the streets, you have to take yourself away from it and then look at it. Don't be an insider looking out, be an outsider looking in once you made it out of it and then really look at it. You don't judge those people. You keep those people and you love those people as you loved them when you was in them. But you try to just battle them and explain to them that you maybe shouldn't view things like that. Try to take a job route, career route, education route. There's so many routes out here to make money to feed and protect your family. The streets is the last thing that people need to do. So I'm gonna just end it with this. The philosophy of the streets is nothing to do with what you think it is. There's no rules in it. Trust me, ain't no rules in there. The police is against you. The people in it is against you. Your friends, the plug, the everybody is in the game. They're with you. It's a one-player game. And once you're out, you're out. So don't go the street route. Try to get an education. Try to get a job. I know it may be hard for a lot of us, but try to make the best of what you have. If you have to leave the environment, leave the environment. Don't let the people tell you, oh, you don't love the hood. I'm not making this video in the hood, nor do I live in the hood no more, but yet I still love the hood. That's what's making me make these videos because I can't help you every day when I'm out there. I can't reach everybody, but I can put this one video on the internet and everybody can share it and listen. So I'm trying to just basically save as many of the youth in Chicago or Gil Garns as possible because it's too much going on and it's only going to get worse. So I'm trying to hurry up and get you guys on the right path before the destruction starts. So like I said, the philosophy of the streets, the streets is not the streets. Friends is not your friends all the time. Your friends is the friends that's gonna tell you to go do the right thing, to continuously do the right thing. So. The views expressed in this video do not necessarily represent the views or life of Marlon Dixon.